Listening. IELTS practice. Questions 1 to 5. You will hear a telephone conversation about voluntary work. You should answer the questions as you listen because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions 1 to 5. Hello, volunteers worldwide. How can I help you? Hello. I'm ringing to find out about opportunities for doing volunteer work. Could you give me some information, please? Yes, certainly. But before I do, I need to ask you for a few personal details. That's just because the opportunities open to you are dependent on your age and on what qualifications and skills you have. That's fine. So, if you could just start by telling me your name and age. OK. My name's Ben Opperman and I'm 22 years old. OK. And what qualifications do you have, Ben? I've got a BA degree in Social Studies. That was from the University of Kent. And I'm a qualified teacher. I've just completed my PGCE, my postgraduate certificate in primary education. And you're interested in doing unpaid voluntary work rather than a full-time job with our organisation? Yes, that's right. I'd like to do voluntary work before I start looking for a more permanent job. How long were you hoping to work for us for? I was thinking of two years at most. OK. Well, for people in your age group, we have two programmes. Global Youth Contact and Youth for Action on Development. GYC, Global Youth Contact, is a six-month exchange programme which provides opportunities for young people from different countries to work together in local communities. I see. But that's only a six-month programme. That's right. But our other programme, Youth for Action on Development, requires people to volunteer for a year at least. On this programme, most of the placements are for 12 or 18 months. Ah, that'd be the programme I'd go for. OK. Now, do you have any other skills or special interests that might be useful for the kind of work we do? Well, I've done a lot of conservation work in the area where I live. Good, that's useful to know. And I belong to a wildlife protection group. Right, that could be very helpful. Now listen and answer questions 6 to 10. Do you have any questions you'd like to ask me? Yes. Could you tell me what sort of placements are available? Well, all our placements are related to the four main areas that we work in. That's education, health, social participation and employment. Education sounds like the obvious choice for me. And if I wanted to go ahead and apply to work on a programme like this, what do I have to do? OK. Well, our selection procedure is quite a lengthy process, I'm afraid. It can take up to nine months. We get many more applicants than we have placements for, so we need to make sure that we get the best people for the kind of work we do. It's very important to realise that voluntary work like this is not an easy option. Although you'll have a brilliant experience with us, you are expected to work hard and make a real contribution. It is not just sitting around enjoying a different culture. <laughs> of course, I understand that. OK. So, if you're interested, I can send you an application pack. You complete the forms and send them back to us. If you are shortlisted, we invite you to come for an interview. That's normally in January. Assuming you're successful, we then start looking for a suitable placement. While we're doing this, we ask you to raise some funds of your own so that you end up contributing about two-thirds of the cost of your training and travel. OK, fair enough. I suppose people get sponsorship, do they? Yes, lots of volunteers do that. Then in June, we ask you to come to our headquarters for a week's training. This starts with general training, which is applicable to all volunteers. It includes topics like how to fit into new cultures, looking after yourself mentally and physically, and how to go about relating to the kinds of people you'll be working with. And then you'll have sessions related specifically to your placement. We'll tell you about the country and the area you'll be going to, about the problems and difficulties to expect, and about the kind of responsibilities you'll have once you're there. And when does the work start? It depends. But generally speaking, 
placements start in September and run for up to 18 months. Sounds brilliant. Could you send me an application pack, please? Yes, certainly. If you'd like to give me your address. Okay. It's 29 Park Street.